Hi guys, happy Monday. Hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to read The Wish Cat. Holly's house had a cat fly. It was a small door on the big door so a cat can come and go, but Holly didn't have a cat. One night something magical happened. Holly's, Holly saw a falling star. As the star trailed across the sky, she made a wish. I wish I had a kitten, she whispered. A tiny cuddly kitten who jumped in and out of the cat flap. Crash! Something big landed on, on the windowsill outside. It was a kitten! It was Tom, the scruffiest, most raggedy cat Holly had ever seen. He sat there in the moonlight, smiling a crooked smile. Meow! I'm Tom, your wish cat, he seemed to say. It's a mistake, cried Holly. I wish for a kitten. Tom didn't think Holly had made a mistake. He rubbed his torn ear against the window and howled a loud... It made him cough and sweat. Meow, meow, meow. Holly hid under her covers, hoping he'd go away. Next morning, Tom was still there, waiting for her outside the cat flop. He wanted to come in, and he brought her a present of a smelly old piece of fish. Yeah, said Holly. She picked it up and dropped it in the garbage can. Tom looked puzzled. Bad cat, she said, shooing him away. Go on, go home, she said, Holly walking over to her swing. But Tom was there before it. He sharpened his claws on the swing and washed his, and washed his coat, noisily pulling out bits of, bits of fur and spitting them everywhere. At lunchtime, Tom sat on the windowsill watching Holly eat. She broke off a piece of her sandwich and passed it out to him through the cat flap. Tom wolfed it down, purring all the time. In the afternoon, a cold wind swept through the garden, and Holly went, had to wear her jacket and scarf. Tom didn't seem too cold. He followed her around, chasing leaves, bouncing on the top of a fence, showing off. Soon it was time for Holly to go inside. Bye, Tom, she said, and stroked his scruffy head. Tom followed her to the door and settled himself by the cat flap. That evening, it snowed. Sparkling flakes of snow danced in the air around the cat flap. Tom curled himself into a ragged ball and to keep warm. Soon there was white cushion of snow all over the doorstep and on Tom. Molly heard him meowing miserably. She ran to the cat flap and held it open. Tom came in, shaking all of the snow on the kitchen floor. Poor old Tom, said Holly. He ate a very large plate of food and drank an even larger warm, a larger bowl of warm milk. Tom purred louder than ever when Holly tried him with the kitchen towel. Soon Tom had settled down, snuggled on Holly's bed. Holly stroked his scruffy fur, and together they watched the glittering, the glittering stars. Then suddenly another star fell. Holly couldn't think of a single thing to wish for. She had everything she wanted, and she. And so had Tom. That end. Bye, guys.